Troy Reader, and Colby Reader. Make games in Newark a family affair. Hit hard by Troy Reader. Born and raised at Delaware Stadium, the Readers dominate Saturdays, maintaining a family tradition that spans decades. We've been going here since we were babies. Troy and Colby's father, Dan, starred as a Blue Hen fullback from 1982 to 1984 and played two seasons in the NFL with the Pittsburgh Steelers, long before Troy and Colby became faces of the program. The tradition at Delaware Stadium became ingrained from day one. We just grew up around the program so long, like we were there, like probably from the age of like two or three, we're hearing stories of our dad and all his friends like at our tailgate, all back like playing football in the 80s and 70s, all telling us stories about Delaware football. It's always been like big time for us, watching all the guys, we'd come in here after the games because my dad and we get all the signatures. We always looked up to guys like Mike Adams, Joe Flacco, Andy Hall, so they've all been heroes, so when we were young we always wanted to be like them, so it's always been a goal and a dream to be on this field, and together is even better. Colby and Troy first came together at Salesianum High School in Wilmington, Delaware. Troy, two years older than Colby, was recruited by multiple Division I programs, including Delaware, but settled on Penn State, also known as Linebacker U. Penn State was, was a good fit for me, and Coach O'Brien and uh, Coach Vanderlinden, who was the uh, linebacker coach at the time, I was, I was really drawn to those guys and, and the product that they had produced, really, and uh, all the great linebackers that had went through Penn State, uh, the Sean Lees, and. Paul Puzlesny's and Dan Connors and these guys that, LeVar Arrington, these guys that you walk through the hall and not only do you see phenomenal players still playing in the NFL or Hall of Famers, but a lot of them are your, your position. Troy started 11 games as a redshirt freshman, tallying 67 tackles, five and a half tackles for loss, and an interception. He earned first-team freshman All-Big Ten honors. Meanwhile, at Salesianum, Colby filled Troy's spot in the middle of the Sal's defense and as the team's leading running back, running for over 2,000 yards his senior season. Like Troy two years earlier, Colby won the State of Delaware's Defensive Player of the Year award. He received offers from the likes of Syracuse, Miami, and Illinois, but Delaware always stuck in his mind. I know me and Troy kind of had conversations even before either one of us made the decision of just like how cool it would be to be back together in the stadium that we grew up basically in. Like we played, we watched games here, we played here in high school and it's just something about this whole, uh, this whole college just felt right. I was really torn, it was, you know, I, I really liked playing at Penn State. I know I would like playing at Delaware, and Colby's getting recruited by these big schools, but if Colby ends up at Delaware, would that outweigh everything? Like, how special would that be? I knew when I was telling him, like, Delaware's my number one now, Troy was like, like, oh man, like, like, should I come back? And then I was just, I pulled the trigger, and then I think probably less than a week later, Troy was like, all right, we're coming back together. <laughs> For some reason, when he pulled the trigger and uh, committed to Delaware, just a lot of feelings came back to me about like what what the place meant to me, and you know a lot of his reasons for committing to Delaware were reasons that pulled me back. And then you know to hear Troy tell stories about their high school team and how he saw Colby come along behind him, and then just that dynamic is similar you know so I love it I mean I, I love it I'm right in the middle of it I'm stoking it all the time I am uh, I'm probably probably out of place occasionally but it's all good family fun I think this season the readers helped Delaware earn its first playoff appearance since 2010 which ended a program record postseason drought Colby will return as a key cog in the D for the next two seasons while Troy, a multiple-time all-conference selection with over 300 career tackles, will have a chance to get drafted to the NFL.
Yeah, I mean, that's that's always the goal. That's the goal growing up is, you know, you want to, anything you do, whether it's business or being a lawyer or a doctor, you, you strive to do it at the highest level. And, you know, so I know just focusing on each day and trying to get better and going out there and practicing and playing games with, with all our friends and our teammates for the last few years and try to put together something special that, that stuff after the season takes will take care of itself and whatever happens happens.